like, sorry guys, I gotta do this. You all got one of these hats, I believe, they're under your seats. Um, you'll notice, one of the things I am extremely proud about, I keep saying we did this project the way Catholic Charities would do it, we did this project the way that the Jewish Federation would do it. This is the first real equality LGBT project of its type in the nation. And so what that means is, it also is economic development. And it means we're working with all the same people that everybody else does. And that means this will be a all-American built union construction oh! site. Oh! To show you how supportive the unions have been of us, and they have been willing to, I hate to say this, but lean over backwards to help us on this project. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, man. <laughs> you, I, we asked them to give the, bring us hats today. They not only brought us hats, they had special hats made up. You notice it says unions for, first there, but if you look at the back, there's a rainbow flag. <laughs> Representing all the, the unions that will be working on this project, ladies and gentlemen, John Dockerty. You know, Mark and myself go back, I've had my job 20 years now, and I've spent every bit of it with Mark in one way or another. You know, uh, both Mayor Rendell and Mayor Street at the time appointed Mark and myself to the airport boards. And people have no idea. He's just not a great representative for the gay community. He's a great representative for Philadelphia. In fact, he's part of the fabric of Philadelphia. I can tell you that there was a two or three early meetings and changing the direction of the Philadelphia airport. You know, it seems like, well, it's been a long time now, but there, there have been two prominent airport directors that were brought in to re-energize. And one was Mary Rose Loney and another was Dennis Bowie. Names that have since flew in and flew out of Philadelphia. But they had significant input. They changed the direction. They changed the economics. And he had as much to do with that as any elected official. He's literally part of the fabric of Philadelphia. The building trades are just happy, Mark, to get a call from you to tell us that we're going to get paid for once. <laughs> okay? For 20 years, I will let you know, Mark has not paid for one thing that he needed out of us. And if he had no money for this project, we would have did it for free because we have that much respect for Mark. If you talk about the William Way Center, the attic, it doesn't matter. We're part of the team. We're part of Philadelphia. And I just thank you. In a day where we're being discriminated against, for paying fair wages, having health care, having retirement, having apprentice training programs. It's really nice to have a friend like you, who from day number one said this was going to be a 100% union project. It'll be brought in on time, it won't be over budget, and anything you need out of us from here on out, as it has been in my 20 years, it'll continue to be that way. Thank you, good luck.